Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here once again with my little supervisor Angie. She's on a little bit of a snack break right now. So, today I have a review of a new product called Levelmate Pro. So this company, Command Electronics, contacted me and offered me a, a free unit for review. Um, what really made me interested in it was you can level your trailer or check check the level of your trailer while you're sitting in your vehicle so that would be awesome for boondocking because you know we go driving out onto the land and it's it's all over the level so a lot of times we'll stop and we'll think yeah this looks pretty flat but we get out and we're like a foot off either way so this little device really intrigued me because we'll be able to drive and check we can quickly check on works on a a tablet or a smartphone you can see it uh, pulls up a picture of the 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 trailer or or your RV and tells you what your level is front to back and side to side so that's really cool so what I got to do is there's a little box here that gets mounted inside the trailer and you install a battery in that and then you install an app into your smartphone or tablet and uh, that's all there is to it Cool. So let's get this apart and see what's inside this packaging. Okay, so here we go. We got the, the guts of the thing here. And I've taken four screws off of it. First thing you want to do is install, comes with a little watch type battery. And just a couple screws for mounting it on the wall. A nice instruction manual here with step by step. Um, you have to go through and install it and set it up for the, the app. So there's uh, information on that, all the steps to that. And there's uh, another section here for actually using it. So I'll go through that. So first thing I want to do is install that battery. And uh, then we'll get to mounting it. Okay, battery installed. See the plus is up. That's what it says in the diagram. Also, I noticed there's the arrow on each side here, so you have to put the cover on. You know, you could make a mistake and put the cover on backwards. And right on here it says arrows must face up, so you want to make sure those are faced up too when you put the cover back on. Otherwise, you could mess yourself up. Okay. So, I'll button that up and I'll find a place in the RV to uh, mount this baby. There we go. So, a couple screws and I've mounted on the wall um, up front in the trailer um, in our bedroom just above the bathroom sink. It's a good little spot. Um, I want it near the front of the trailer. Um, the device uses Bluetooth 4.0 and has a range of about 50 feet so because I, I ideally want to be able to, to use it while I'm in the truck I want to have it up front in the trailer so I can have maximum signal strength but uh, it, can, it can be mounted anywhere on a vertical surface so that'll do good there kind of out of the way so next I have to uh, let's see Okay, so I got that installed. Next step is to level the vehicle, level the trailer. So I've been in this spot for a while. I got it really nice and level. So you have to get it really level at first so the, the machine can, can remember that. And now it says start the app on your smartphone or tablet. So let's go. Okay, so I plan to use it on two different devices here. One is I have an Android tablet and also Anne has a nice little iTouch device that she carries with her. So I've downloaded both apps. Um, you just go to the different app stores and get them. Um, so there's a level mate there. Level mate. Just click that one on there. Get a little connecting thing as it connects to the, the Bluetooth on the device itself to the little box on the wall. And you can see it's all set up there. It's pretty easy to set up. There's only a couple screens on here. Let's hit the 
settings tab and you can see they want you to uh, go in there and with a tape measure you just measure how wide your RV is and measure the distance from the center of the back wheel to your jack so um, on it on my trailer is a fifth wheel so it'd be the probably the landing jack so I put in there 168 inches and side to side is 96 inches and you just save that and then she works okay so I've noticed it bounces around but we're actually moving around in here there's a little bit of wind out so we're dead level right now I did notice a couple kind of little bugs with the software if you look right here it says on this iOS device an iTouch it says battery life left 5% temperature 76 so let me show you what it looks like on my Android tablet here we go on the Android and you can see it says 91% so the iOS is reporting 5% and the Android's reporting 91%. Also, I noticed on my Android tablet when I went to settings, it's kind of squished up here. So there's like little bugs in, in the apps. It's a fairly new device and new software, so they'll probably fix that up by just updating the, the apps. So now I'm going to go and test and see if this will uh, work in the truck. That's my main thing. See if I can uh, be outside in the truck and still get readings off of the, the device. So I'm out in the truck and it seems to connect fine from out here, which is good. Woohoo! So now I'm just uh, going to test uh, how it reacts on the fly. I've got my uh, remote operating thing for the jack so I'll uh, try raising them up and uh, see if it can uh, follow it. So let's see. The trailer is going slowly up. Let's see if we're getting it. Yeah there it goes. That's cool. Take her up to about three inches here. Yeah. Okay, let's put her back down. So this is going to be great. I'll be able to uh, find a, a, a more level spot when I'm boondocking. And even some campsites or certain areas of the campsite that are more level than others. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let her go down, down, down. You can also use this app for uh, attaching and unattaching the trailer. Once it, it has a, a thing to remember the hitch position. And so you, you set up your hitch position where, where you're un, unhooking the level you're unhooking the trailer at. And then you can always get right back to it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there you go. Easy to install and set up and works as advertised. Gotta like that. Um, maybe I'll just go through a few features. Oh, just by the way, the battery thing sorted itself out on the iOS. Now it's at 89% and my Acer is at 89%. So I don't know, maybe it just took a little while for it to uh, get its settings under control there. Anyway, I'll just go through some of the features it has. Um, this Bluetooth 4, it uses a type of Bluetooth that um, it doesn't need to pair like the old style. So say you're in your vehicle and you, are, it, you already have your device set for your hands-free, it can, it can automatically um, do this at the same time without breaking your hands-free operation. So that's pretty cool. Uh, night and low light use, of course, because you've got backlighting on your on your tablet or smartphone. Um, uses Apple or Android. You can see for yourself I've used both. Um, designed for accuracy. Uh, inside of it it's got a, a temperature sensor. So there's a readout of temperature on it. It's kind of neat. 74 Fahrenheit right now. And that's so that the, the accelerometer chips that they use in there it, they can be um, 
they can go not they're not as accurate as the temperature changes so have by having the sensor in there it keeps it very accurate down to like think 0.1 percent or something crazy like that which can make a big difference if you have a, a long rv you know any any type of little error can mean you know up to an inch or so off so that's a good thing um also uh it's made in the good old USA. Not as good as Canada, but, you know, second best. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that uh, that little review of that. Um, it's definitely going to be something I'll use. You know, after, you know, years of RVing, I can pretty well level the trailer without just by eye alone, a couple bubble levels, but I'm really going to like it for uh, finding a level spot when I'm boondocking or dry camping. You know, say I'm going into a casino parking lot and I'm trying to find the most level spot to start with. So I don't have to stop and get out and keep looking. I can just flick on this app and drive around, find the most level spot before I even start. Um, also be really good for people that are just starting out and they're not really good at leveling their camper. This can be a really handy aid, that's for sure. I know Angie's super excited about it. She's really stoked. <laughs> Until next time, it's Ray from Love Your RV. Keep the shiny side up. Cheers.